back again. Um, ignore my voice. I'm a little bit ill at the moment. Um, I haven't got COVID, don't worry. I've had a PCR test and I've done so many lateral flows, it's ridiculous, but it's all come back negative, so I don't have COVID. Um, and ignore this, is I burnt myself on the, my hair curlers, because I'm useless. Um, but anyway, good to be back. I know I haven't posted anything in a while, but honestly, I've had nothing to post. Um, obviously, Mary's turned up. She is now actually on the saddle, um, so there will be a vlog on that. I just need to actually finish it. Um, I'm not really sure when I'm going to finish it, like, as in along the video timeline. Like, I don't know whether to carry on videoing for a bit longer or what. Um, but this vlog is going to be about Brian. So, obviously, Mary hasn't actually, well, wasn't doing anything, which is why I wasn't vlogging. Uh, Ryan is still off work. He's still only walking, like, trot work. And Brian was off um, from towards the beginning of November and he's come back into work now he's back jumping um but that's why I haven't been vlogging so I've been doing absolutely nothing all over Christmas which isn't a bad thing you know it's nice to have a break but anyway today's vlog is going to be kind of like I'm gonna run it forward because today I'm gonna jump Brian over a course um I jumped him once at the weekend and we just jumped over a little course. Today we're going to jump over a bigger course because on Sunday we are off to Wellington for the Blue Chip Star Qualifier. Um, there's only a few left now, so I need to try and get it. Or I probably won't even go Blue Chip, to be honest, to jump one class. But So yeah, fingers crossed we qualify, which is what we're practicing for today. So this vlog's going to be like, I'm going to video today and us training. And then I'm also going to kind of continue it on to the weekend when we go to the show. Um, we've never been to Wellington before. It's a gorgeous showground. I've been wanting to go for ages, but it's just under two hours from us. And we don't ever travel really over an hour for a day show. Um, but this is certain circumstances. We have to go. So, yeah, we're off to Wellington on Sunday to jump the Blue Jeep Qualifier. That is our only class. So we need to get as prepared as possible today, which is what we're going to do. So, yeah, I'll bring you along with me. And, yeah. In the ocean with you, baby, up with a slow motion crew, and we up in our growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chillin', kicking it, kiss by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the moss soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but when. So we are on. Is Brian here? I've started him without a um, flash on to see if he's any better because he has less to kind of evade. But I'll probably end up putting it on. He's probably even crazy because he's already prancing around. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have no control today. Rising. So this is the course we've got set out. We've done with a uh, skinny in the middle, an oxa, which is at the moment a cross. Rising, walk. Oh God, um, an ox are, and then up right up the corner has a dog leg. So just gonna warm him up and yeah, get going once my mum comes out.
<laughs> Rosie was a very good boy today. Just walking him off now. Both a bit knackered, I think. Um, yeah, no, he was really good. Um, jumped around the course of about 110, ready for the show. Um, and yeah, he was a really good boy. I'm really happy with him. And hopefully that will set us up for the weekend. So yeah, the next time I probably see you guys now will be then, pretty much. Good morning, guys. Um, continuing from the vlog in the week of me practicing on Brian. Um, I've just been over and fed and hay the horses. I've just gone back to get a thinner coat because the one I had on was quite thick and it's not actually as cold as I expected it to be this morning. So, here are the horses. Mary's just eating her brekkie. She likes to push all the bedding out of the way while she's eating it. Which is really annoying. Brian's finished, stopped eating his, to eat his hay, and as always. So I'm just gonna chuck this muck up, put the horse out so Brian can have a couple of hours out, and then I'll bring him in to wash his legs and stuff. And yeah. Just chucking the main man out of his hay net. Mary's out already over there. She's always the first one to go out because where she's only a baby, she was always living out, so she hates staying in. She would only like to be in if all the others are in, so there's Mary. Bryce is next as he goes in the bottom field and then Ryan will go in this top field. Um, Bryce will probably go out. Bryce will probably go out for two hours um, for the show and then I'll bring him in, give him a little lunge because a lot of the time he just stands in the field rather than actually walking around. Um, just giving him a second. And once I've lunged him, I will give him a quick, like, wash. I'm not going to wash his whole body. I'm just going to wash his legs, his mane and his towel. And then I will use my towards equestrian hot oil to do his body. So at least it's not soaking wet when we travel him. Because he can get a little bit chilly on the lorry. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm just going to get Ryan right now. Put him out and then I'll finish mucking out because I've only mucked out Ryan whilst I was eating the breakfast. Um, and yeah, then I'll probably go in and get changed 
and then mate just start sorting out the lorry pretty much Rara says can you put me out can you put me out please my friend's well it's another poo thanks Rara thanks Rara Miss Rara's out so now everyone's out well my three are out anyway Watching the ocean with you, baby up with a slow motion crew, and we up in our growlings when people change, but not us, and we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun, could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon, I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but when Brian's got his char for before I ride, treats, water buckets, bridle, fly valve, saddle half pads, boots, nearly foot my grooming kit. Rises. Charles? Come here. Eating his chuffy. Just walked up the course. It's quite easy actually, to be fair, for one turn. Um, no jump off turns, which really don't suit us at all. Um, this is more of a Gallopy call, so we're just gonna have to get moving pretty much and hope for the best. Walking back to the lorry now, you can see it through here. There is the lorry. Do you have any massage? Is Echo really a massage pad? We're walking up now to the arena. Oh, this is so fresh. Oh my god. I got on him and he just like took off of me across the car park. He's so cold backed sometimes. Like he's not cold backed, but he just proper lifts his back where he's so fresh. But so I'm to the arena now. Got my Ecro coat on. It's the arena. So now we have number three. Right, right. Bit of brand sponsorship. There you go. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> so just the four faults for Emma and Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. 
one. Woohoo! <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Bizey wants to see the star. Good boy, Bizey. He was absolutely incredible. Um, he had a very big spook at the water tray, but luckily I was going so fast into it, I don't think he had the opportunity to stop. But it wasn't really a course that suited him because he's quite good at turns and it was more of a gallopy course, so I was a bit worried about that. But no, he absolutely flew around, he jumped amazing, and we're currently in the lead. I think there's like six left, so hopefully I've definitely qualified. Yeah. You good boy, Brazy. Mum, was the journey worth it? Oh wow. Ice boots on. And his Kentucky rug. Good boy, Rosie. Good boy. Just gone to get our rosette and then we'll be on our way home. And people change but not us. And we just chillin', kicking it, kiss by the sun. Could be so Wow. I am absolutely useless. On the way home, I was like, oh yeah. I'll video him coming off the lorry when we get back and then I'll do a little video over the stables like I usually do. Didn't happen. Um, so I'm currently laying, well I'm not laying, it's obvious I'm not laying, I'm currently sitting in my bed. Um, I need to have a shower and yeah. I've finished horses off, it's currently like nine o'clock um, so it's not like I can quickly go over there and pretend like I um, carry on videoing because I didn't um just gonna be outright you know just gonna tell the truth um but anyway today was such a good day um Brian was absolutely incredible um we went to Wellington as you've seen for the blue chip qualifier and we've never actually been to Wellington before because it's not very close to us it is around an hour and 45, an hour and 50 minutes, no traffic. Um, and we don't really travel over an hour for a stay, like a stay, for a day show. Um, because we have quite a lot of venues within an hour of us. So there's just never any reason to go out of that, to go to anywhere else. Um, but as soon as they had the qualifier on, and a couple of people I know go there all the time and it looks amazing there. So I was like, you know what, let's just go. Especially as I missed a couple of qualifiers with Brian being off over Christmas. Um, and there's only like three left that I can do that aren't like hours away. Um, this being one of them. So we're like, you know what, just do it. So we did the journey and we did it for one class. So there was quite a lot of pressure, to be honest. I didn't really want to screw up and then have to sit in the lorry on the way home. And it just be miserable you know what i mean just like sitting there like feeling all down because it didn't go well i didn't want it to be that so luckily it wasn't as you would have seen um brian was an absolute superstar and we won the blue chip qualifier um so he's now qualified for both the classes he can qualify for which is the one meter 10 star qualifier and the one meter 25 open qualifier qualifier so yeah he's qualified for both and he actually qualified for both first time he came second in the 125 at piker in which i did a vlog on back in october i think it was and then yeah he won the star today so we're all qualified um thankfully we don't have to chase them and i can save my money for some summer shows um really really pleased with him and i know it's not a very long vlog because usually i jump more than one class or i you know if ryan's out i have another horse to jump but i hope you enjoyed coming along with us anyway um the 2020 season has officially started it is 20 i just said 2020 the 2022 season has officially started um 2022 has begun and yeah first show of the year and we are out of a bang and had a win so i mean can't get any better than that um, anyway Really, really pleased with him and I really hope you enjoyed the vlog and hopefully you're ready for some more regular vlogs again because I actually have stuff to post about. Yes. Um, so yeah, really hope you enjoyed it and make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Woo!